What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and Apple has released iOS 4.3.5. Now the only difference in this update is that a very minor security flaw has been fixed. Now besides this, nothing else has been changed or added, so it's not even worth updating if you guys are on a lower firmware. Now for those of you that did update, this video will show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gens, and the original iPad all on iOS 4.3.5. Now keep in mind this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning if your battery dies or you need to restart your iDevice, you will need a computer to reboot your device successfully or else it will be stuck on the Apple logo. Also this will work on Mac and Windows and it will work on iOS 4.3.4 and 4.3.3. Okay so make sure your iDevice is plugged in and on your desktop you're going to need two things downloaded, your 4.3.4, not 4.3.5, official firmware as well as Red Snow 0.9.8 beta 4. Those links can be found down below in the description as well as a written guide. Now if you guys are having any kind of trouble during this jailbreak, make sure to read the guide because it will tell you guys how to fix those errors. But okay, go ahead and right click on Red Snow if you're on Windows, run as administrator, and now we're going to browse for our 4.3.4 firmware, not 4.3.5. It'll process it, click next, it'll patch the kernel for a second. Okay, in here, we're going to keep everything as it is. We're not going to check anything else and click next. And you don't have to turn your device off to put it into DFU mode, but for the sake of this video, I'll do that. We're just going to power off our device. I mean, you could go straight to DFU mode. You don't have to power it off every single time, but Red Snow does recommend it, so I guess I'll do it. Okay, and click next. Now we're gonna hold the power button for three, two, one, together with the home button for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Once Red Snow recognizes your device, you don't have to keep holding the home button, you can just let go. Okay, so now it's going to jailbreak it and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, and once your device reboots, go ahead and slide to unlock and you will have Cydia on your springboard. Now it might be white and that's perfectly normal, but if you click on it, it will crash. Now basically what I'm about to show you is what you'll have to do every single time your battery dies or you need to reboot your device. Basically go into Red Snow, run it, browse for your firmware, Basically exactly like the step we did before, except this time when we have the options, all we're going to select is just boot tethered right now. Okay, and here we're just going to select just boot tethered right now. Click next. Again, put your device into DFU mode. I'm just going to skip to it and put it right into DFU mode. So hold power and home together till the screen goes black and then let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. And once it's done, you will see a pineapple logo on your device. That means it is rebooting in tethered boot mode and it will reboot in just a second. Okay, and once your device reboots, go ahead and slide to unlock and you guys will now have a full colored Cydia on your springboard. Open it up and you guys are now jailbroken on iOS 4.3.5. Just remember this is a tethered jailbreak. Now, thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Please rate if it helped you jailbreak your device. If you liked it, don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already for more great videos. So once again, thanks for watching guys and enjoy your jailbreak on iOS 4.3.5.